hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in this video we will see how to solve numerical problem related to determination of result and force for a concurrent force system so concurrent force system is that in which uh, two or more forces come and meet at a point so here you can see here three forces 5 10 and 15 uh, newton forces are joining at this point so this is a concurrent force system which is inclined with some inclinations and we need to calculate the resultant force of this system and also the angle of inclination of this resultant with the horizontal so first thing everybody should keep in mind is that when uh, any force is inclined means if it is not horizontal nor vertical if it is inclined with some inclination the very first point everybody should keep in mind is that you have to resolute the force means you have to write the components of the forces into its x component and y component then only you have to start moving on any inclined force should be resoluted into two components okay so now if we'll, if you see this first let me take the example of this 10 okay so uh, if this is the horizontal and if this is the 10 newton force with an inclination of how much 45 degrees if this is the case then first thing you have to keep in your mind is that uh, you have to check uh, before writing the uh, what you call the components you have to check under which quadrant is the uh, force falling into so we all know that if you just uh, draw a coordinate system this is x this is y this is minus x and this is minus y so if you see this 10 newtons this is in the first quadrant correct so here x is positive and y is positive so obviously the two components of this 10 newton will be towards the right side the horizontal component and the vertical component will be upwards this is the first thing that should come into your mind so this is the resolution next the forces which are moving towards right side will be positive and upward also will be positive left side and downward will be negative just as per the coordinate axis next we have to see what is the value of this x component and this y component so the value of x component will be always remember one thing any uh, force or any component rather adjacent to this angle will be cos so we have two cos uh, cos is the horizontal component and sine is the vertical component but this always doesn't work out what i mean to say is cos component will be that component adjacent to the inclination so if i assume this 45 degrees to be theta then this side is adjacent to theta so this side will be a cos side and the formula is say suppose you have a force f moving like this with the inclination of theta then i told whatever the side adjacent to the theta side is cos side so this component formula is f cos theta and obviously the other one will be f sin theta so according to this concept this will be 10 cos 45 degrees and this will be 10 sin 45 degrees okay similarly if we take out the next force which is 5 newton force so now you can see 5 newton force is falling in the second quadrant because you can see here if this is the horizontal 5 newton force is like this with an inclination of 30 degrees so obviously the components of this 5 newtons will be how so one component it is in the second quadrant so if you observe in the second quadrant x should be towards left side y will be upward so the component of this force will be one horizontal component will be like this and vertical component will be like this so what is this value this value will be minus because x is negative minus 5 and 30 degrees adjacent side is cos side so minus 5 cos 30 degrees and what will be this 5 sin 30 degrees because it's already positive similarly let's take the third force if you see the third force what is the third force third force is 15 it's something like this okay and if this is the horizontal what is this inclination 60 degrees so if you see like this now what will be the components of this uh, 5 uh, 15 sorry so this 15 is here like this in the fourth quadrant 
so here x is positive y is negative so x is positive means the x component will be like this y is negative means y will be downwards again theta adjacent side is cos side so right side it is already positive so it is how much 15 cos 60 degrees similarly what will be this minus 15 sin 60 degrees so like this everybody first when you get a resolution uh, I mean when you get a concurrent system first you resolute each force separately with a proper sign convention and with proper resolution into x and y so first step is that check for sign convention step 2 theta adjacent side should be a cos side and the other one will be a sine side okay like this and the formulas are f cos theta and f sine theta if f is the force inclined with an angle of theta now for this entire system we need to calculate resultant resultant formula is given by fr is equals to under root of fx square plus fy square so first we need to calculate the value of fx and fy fx is the summation of all the forces in x direction means in horizontal direction similarly fy is the summation of all forces in y direction means in vertical direction if you observe for fx let's see what are all the forces in x direction we have 10 cos 45 we have minus 5 cos 30 and we have plus cos 60 correct so let's write for fx now so fx will be equal to how much what is the first component 10 cos 45 so 10 into cos 45 degrees what is the second component of 5 minus 5 cos 30 minus 5 cos 30 degrees and what is the third component sorry what is the third component 15 cos 60 so plus 15 cos 60 degrees so let's solve for fx and see how much will be our fx value so i'm taking a calcium and putting all these values so f value comes out to be fx value comes out to be 10.24 newton this is the value for fx this is the summation of all forces in x direction similarly let's do for fy we have 10 sin 45 upwards so positive next we have 5 sin 30 upwards so positive 5 sin 30 next we have minus 15 sin 60 why we wrote minus because 15 sin 60 is acting in the downward direction so minus 15 sin 60 degrees so let's substitute all the values of sin 45 degrees 30 degrees and 60 degrees and let's see how much we will get the value of fi so f value came out to be minus 3.41 newton this is the value for fi finally we should calculate what fr resultant so what is the formula for resultant just now i told you fr is equals to under root of fx square plus fy square so fr is equals to under root of what is fx value 10.24 whole square i'll just try erase and write again yes it is 10.24 whole square plus minus 3.41 whole square so however minus whole square will become a positive answer so no problem so we will get fr as 10.79 newton so this is how you need to calculate the resultant so we are done with first part of the question calculation of resultant force once you are done with the resultant what you should you do you should also calculate the angle of inclination of this resultant with the horizontal so let's calculate that so the formula for angle of inclination is given by alpha is equals to tan inverse of fy by fx so alpha is equals to tan inverse of what is fy minus 3.41 by fx is 10.24 so let's see what is alpha equal to angle of inclination of the resultant force fr with the horizontal so this is minus 18.41 degrees so you got a negative answer it means that the how the figure looks like is what does this negative sign indicates is i'll show you so let's say um, 
what was fx 10.24 means it is positive so fx is 10.24 newton it is moving in the right direction how much was fy 3.41 downward direction so i wrote downward so i am not writing minus 3.41 this is fy so obviously your resultant will be like this this is what fr and how much is fr equal to 10.79 newton and what is this inclination 18.41 degrees so this is in the fourth quadrant that's why we got negative okay so like this you have to calculate the resultant of forces and also angle of inclination hope you all understood the video thanks for watching